still running. We're in Wicked Till comparison time. Hey, what's up, you guys? Jordan Miss Prime here doing another Marvel Select figure review on the Marvel Select Disney Store exclusive unmasked Captain America figure from the Winter Soldier movie. Now, this is a Disney Store exclusive, but you can't find your other Marvel Select figures. Big, 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 big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So, standard packaging for Marvel Select. I'm already liking this shield over here. I think that looks very cool. It says Unmasked Captain America Disney Store logo right there. Ages 8 and up. We get a shield right over there. And turn it sideways. We get a pretty cool picture of Captain America right there. And then we have this lengthy bio. Actually, this is in English. And then this is in Francois. <laughs> so, if you want to read this in English, you can go ahead and pause it now. Or if you want to read it in Francois, <laughs> you can pause it right now as well. And then here's a picture of the figure standing all proud and everything. So, yeah, Diamond Select, DiamondSelect.com. And you got your comic book store locator. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Unmasked Captain America out of the packaging. And I gotta say, this is a great figure. I am really, really pleased with this. This is a fantastic piece. Any shortcomings I had with the first version of this uh, is immediately wiped away with this figure over here. And it's mostly the paint detail. I really like the paint detail on this figure. He's got dirt and stuff all over the place. You can see a little bit right over there. And the shield looks great. Now, I think this figure figure was designed before they had an actual concept of why the shield was uh, changed and everything. And to this day, I don't think we're 100% sure. I've heard a lot of people say that it's tape. Uh, this looks like they had like, uh, you know, red paint over it and it's been battle damaged to the point where you just see the adamantium vibranium alloy, you know, shining through there. But I like this. It doesn't really matter to me, you know, if it comes off as the red was tape instead of the silver parts being tape. It doesn't really matter to me. I just think this looks really really awesome. The figure itself is great. I don't think the head sculpt really looks too much like Chris Evans, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So here's the base that he comes with. It's the same thing as the base that we saw with the masked version of Captain America. So you can see them side by side. I guess if you had a bunch of these, you can make a, some kind of diorama or setup. I don't know. I think it kind of looks weird. They, they don't match up perfectly. There's no way to make these interlock at all or anything. And you do get a little bit of a gap in between here. So that makes may or may not work, depends on how creative you are, but you know, they look cool. Uh, same kind of deal with the silver paint applications. You get a little bit of, you know, some streaking right over here, making it pop a little bit. I think that's kind of cool, but there's no real paint variation on this thing. And yeah, sculpted shield logo over there. Not much going on in the back and the bottom of this thing. I don't know why, but I really like this shield a lot. There's just a lot going on here. You get this black shading right over here for de battle damage. And then we have two different colors of silver. You have this darker silver and this bluish silver right over here, which looks great. You have this metallic blue, and then of course the star is sculpted on there. I just think this looks fantastic. I'm just really, really happy with this. This red coming off of it and everything just looks really cool to me. I really dig this look. It's not exactly film accurate, of course. I think the Marvel Legends shield for Captain America is a bit more film accurate, you know? But I like how this looks more. And then uh, here's the bottom of it. We get a little paint chipping right there, which is a little unfortunate, but not a big deal. It's on the back of the shield. It doesn't really bother me. Then we have these tan straps over here with some little lines sculpted in them to make them look a little leathery, which I think is great. Flame on! This does not look like Chris Evans. I just don't think this looks like Chris Evans at all. But it's not a bad head sculpt. Unfortunately, I do have some weird lines going in around the forehead. And on around his nose and his eye right over there. That's a little strange. That's just from the molding though. Yeah, but this sculpt does not make me think it looks like Chris Evans at all. Really. I mean, I guess I could see where they're coming from, but mm, yeah. yeah. I'm not seeing Chris Evans over here. I like how the hair is sculpted though. Looks pretty good. I like how he has some nice shading right there in the blonde hair. So I like that. Uh, you know, it's nicely sculpted. Just doesn't really look like Chris Evans. There's the front of his hair right there. He's kind of got the pomp going just a little bit. Mini pomp, I guess. Yeah, side by side comparison with the Marvel Legends Captain America figure from the Winter Soldier movie. Neither of them look like Chris Evans to me. Neither of them do. Uh, but I actually have to say I prefer the one on the left. The select one looks a little cooler to me. I really like that this figure comes with interchangeable heads, so you just pop this off and, you know, same mechanism uh, that we had for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure, and just pop this right It takes a little bit of might, but not too bad. Now looking at this head sculpt, I noticed the A is a little askew. It's a little closer to his right eye than it should uh, compared to the regular version. This one looks a little bit more centered, and that one's just, yeah, a little off. But not a big deal. Uh, the thing that does stand out to me, though, is that I thought he had some battle damage right here on the back of the helmet. 
but that ends up just being some of the paint coming off and that's the flesh tone underneath. So yeah, but you know, it doesn't really bother me. I, I still think it's battle damaged. Yeah, I think the flesh tone is just slightly darker right here on the unmasked version uh, compared to the original one. And I like this one more. This one looks a little cooler to me. I really love the battle damage detail on this figure. What really hits the geek spot for me is that it's not the same exact kind of battle damage going throughout. Like, for instance, right over here, we have some scratches. I didn't do that. That's just part of the battle damage that they added to the figure. And it also has some lighter coloring right over here where it meets the silver. I think that is really cool. Of course, we have this nice dirt right over there. They have these little lines scratched right in there. I think that looks great. Here's the back of it looking really really cool. Some more mud and dirt right there. That looks awesome. Same thing with the first figure. I really like the details in the straps. That was there on the other figure. Here's the right shoulder. Some more grungy dirt and everything. I really like this. And at the rest of this figure, look at that on the pants. I really think it makes the figure pop more. I really like the mud splattered all over here. This just looks really really cool to me. I'm really digging it. And then one of my favorite things that they've done to this figure that they didn't have on the first version of it is they've added paint detail to the boots. I was very, very disappointed in the boots on this one right over here on this first version. This just looked lame to me. I just thought this was just really weird looking. But they've added more detail to it and they have some more brown on here and I just think that looks great. Absolutely fantastic touches on this figure. I'm really liking it. It makes me like the figure so much more with all these paint applications. I really dig it. Plus, it has peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And to briefly go over the articulation again, uh, the head doesn't really move up too much. You can move it downward a little bit. He has a little bit of a neck pivot, but not too much. Rotate side to side. Shoulders move outward, forward. He bends at the elbow, rotate side to side. Wrist moves side to side. They have hinges on them that can make the wrist move up and down. He has a diaphragm joint that can move side to side. Crunches forward and back just a little bit. Gets a little bit pivot in there too. He has nice hip joints that are really well hidden. They move outward, they move forward. You have a little bit of an upper thigh swivel in there and I really like how we don't have the gaping crotch pits by the way. This is cool. You get a little bit of the gape right there but it's better hidden than the last time that we've seen this kind of thing going on with the Marvel Selects. Anyway, double jointed knees, no boot rotation but the ankles move down. They can you have to shimmy them to move them up, and he has a beautiful ankle pivot. And this figure stands just at about seven and a half inches tall. And here's both Winter Soldier Select Captain America standing side by side. And as much as I like seeing the red, white, and blue shield, or the red, silver, and blue shield on Captain America, I really like how this one looks. I actually prefer this figure overall much better. Just looking at the figure side by side, I just think this guy pops more with the paint detail. Here he is standing next to the Marvel Select First Avenger Captain America figure. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Captain America, both with the Steve Rogers heads on them. So there's a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, again, the shields, thinking this one looks more movie accurate, but I like that one more. And then here he is next to the Disney Store exclusive Unmasked Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. And the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And hey, we got him standing on one foot. I think this is a great figure. I totally recommend it. You'll be very pleased if you pick this figure up. I like it a lot. Uh, I, I just really enjoy posing the figure and looking at it. I think it's a great piece. Diamond Select did a fantastic job on this variant. I like it so much more than the first one. Anyway, please check out MarvelousNews.com and leave a comment over there to enter my 50,000 subscribers contest. Also, leave a comment in the description below. Don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>